Not every photo is perfect, especially when it comes to the subject of kids. Trying to get everyone into a nice photo and positioned properly is a little bit like herding cats. Fortunately, the Content-Aware Move tool can fix some of these common logistical problems in Photoshop Elements. Now, I have this image open inside of the Photoshop Elements Organizer. And what I'd like to do is to move this girl a little bit closer to the boy to make them all look like they're in a cohesive group. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Grid View. And this is where we can see all the thumbnails of our images. And with the image that I want to edit selected, I'm going to click on the Editor button to open that image inside of the Photoshop Elements Editor. At the top of your screen, you want to make sure that you click on the Expert button to switch into the Expert mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a new tool that we can use here called the Content Aware Move tool. And that's located in the lower left hand corner of your Tools panel. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you'll notice in the Options area down here at the bottom that we have the ability to create a brand new selection we can add to an existing selection, subtract from a selection, or intersect with the selection. Now because we have no selection created right now, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new selection. So with this button enabled and the Move Radio button to the right selected, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag, just like you would use a lasso tool, to create a selection around this girl on the right side of this image. And it's important to understand, too, that you can really technically use any of the selection tools to create your initial selection. I just happen to find it easy enough in this example to use the Content Aware Move tool to do this. So once you have an active selection, what you can do is you can click on that active selection, and I'm just going to drag this girl over so she's closer to the boy to her right. And when I let go of my mouse, Photoshop Elements is going to calculate what needs to happen from where she was moved to where she's moving to. So as you can see when it's finished, this girl has now been repositioned to the new location and she's been removed from her original location. To deselect that, we can simply click once on our image or we can press Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows to make that an inactive selection. Now the other option you have here in addition to the Move option, the radio button that we just used, you also have the Extend option. And you can have a little bit of fun with this because what you could do if you wanted to is we could say select this log. I'm just kind of selecting the end of this log here. And instead of moving it, I'm going to click on the Extend radio button. And if I click and drag, I'm just going to move this over to the left a little bit. Photoshop Elements once again is going to recalculate that and if I deselect, we can see that we just extended that log underneath the boy on the left-hand side of the image. So once you're satisfied with that, we can go ahead and go to File and choose Save. I'm going to save it as an edited version. And I'll go ahead and just save that image. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to close that image, return to my organizer, and we're going to take a look at one more example that's a bit more complicated. So I'm going to click on this image of the family sitting on this log. I'm going to click on the Editor button to open that inside of the Photoshop Elements Editor. Now, just as I did before, I'm going to use my Content Aware Move tool, and I'm going to create a general selection around this girl. And once again, I'm not being super accurate, but I just want to leave a little bit of the background behind her. And I'm just creating this general selection. And then I'll go ahead and let go to complete that selection. Now we just need to make sure that we choose the Move option because I want to move her a little bit closer to her family. So I'm going to go ahead and click on her. I'm just going to drag to the right to reposition her a little bit closer to her mom. And as you can see, Photoshop Elements has recomposed this image, moved her a little bit closer to her family. Before you deselect this, you can also adjust this healing slider. And this healing slider is not so much a more or less, it's just different algorithms for calculating how this area is going to be filled. So if you wanted to experiment, you can drag this slider to the left, and you'll see some adjustments take place when Photoshop Elements recalculates that area. You can see that it changed that algorithm. We can drag it further to the left if we want to. And you can experiment with these different settings. 
Now, it wasn't perfect. We're probably going to need to do a little bit of cloning, but it definitely gets you a lot further than you would be if you had to move her manually using any other technique. I'll go ahead and click to deselect her. I'll just save that as an edited version and go ahead and click OK. As you can see, the Content Aware tool does an impressive job in a variety of different situations. Give it a try on your own photos, and I'm sure you'll find that the Content Aware Move tool will become a tool that you just can't live without.